Hello and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Minnie Penny and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Minnie Penny's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we give the dogs while we're working with them, and also the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash and he's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. And the correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Minnie Penny has been fitted with her own personal training collar and Fred keeps that collar high up on her neck right behind her ears for the most control while working her. Minnie Penny is sitting very nicely on Fred's left hand side and that's where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Minnie Penny take off now. The command that you're going to give is Minnie Penny heal and you're going to simply start walking. And you'll notice that Minnie Penny has been trained to walk very nicely on your left hand side at your pace, not lagging behind nor lunging ahead and pulling on that leash. We've also gone ahead and incorporated an automatic sit into the healing exercise. So anytime that you're out walking with her and you stop your feet, she's been trained to sit nicely right at your left heel position and she shall remain seated there until given another command or praise. The next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command and that's a hand and voice command. Use the open flat of your left palm in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay. Now when practicing your long sit stays at home, start with short time increments of about 30 seconds to a minute and upon her success you'll increase your intervals working up to a total of 3 minutes. When Fred returns back, he walks all the way around where Mini Penny should remain seated throughout the entire time. Great job. And they're going to go ahead and demonstrate their heel sit and stay for you again. Now if any time you're working Mini Penny through her commands and she does not complete them appropriately or if she displays any inappropriate behavior, such as jumping, you're going to tell her no, followed by a tug and release on that training collar if need be, and repeat the command. So Fred leaves her in another sit stay and this time instead of returning back they're going to demonstrate their recall or the come on command. For this command you call her in using her name. She should get up and come in and sit directly in front of you. Very well done. And then she heals back to po heel position by going around the back of you, returning to your left hand side, sitting nicely, waiting for her next command. And they're going to demonstrate that again. Very nicely done. You'll notice throughout the video that Fred gives her lots of pets on the head and tells her that she's doing a great job and being a good girl. It is important to make it fun and motivating when working Minnie through her commands and letting her know that she is doing a great job by using lots of positive reinforcement, whether you're verbally praising her and telling her good girl or physically petting her and giving her a little pet on the head there. Now the next command they're going to demonstrate is the first of our down commands. It's down from a heel position. Again, use the open flat of your left palm, straight down towards the ground, and the one word command to down. Then give the stay command again as you walk out to the end of the leash. And with your long down stay, you're going to again start with short time increments of 30 seconds to a minute. And upon her success, increase your intervals working up to a total of 5 minutes for your down stay. Now with your sit stays and your down stays, you want to make sure that you're practicing them frequently throughout your day to help up her ability to sit and stay and down stay for longer periods of time. Fred's going to go ahead and return back the same way and she should remain laying down. Good girl. And I'll demonstrate that for you again. You want to make sure that you're incorporating all of Minnie Penny's commands into your everyday life and you also want to be making sure that you set aside about 10 to 15 minutes every day to work her through her commands in a formal obedience training session such as this video. You can follow along if you would like. It's great practice for the both of you. It will help with the transition and her new commands and rules in the home when she gets back. Another down stay. And then this time they'll demonstrate that recall command for you again from the down position this time. Me, 
Now she didn't sit right away, so you saw Fred told her no and gave her a tug and release towards the rear to get her to sit. And she followed through. Good job. Just a slight little correction there. We do have one last command to demonstrate for you, and that's the second of our down commands, and that one is the down from a distance. For this command, you're going to go ahead and leave Miss Minnie Penny in a sit stay. Stay. And from the end of the leash, you're going to use your right hand to give her the down command. Down. And she should drop into a down directly where she's sitting. Good girl. And again, Fred returns back. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Minnie has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Minnie. We thank you for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. And we also ask that you keep us posted on her progress when she returns home. Thank you and bye-bye.